Now let's practice finding rate of change or slope of a tangent for different kinds of function. So in this example we have a transformed reciprocal function. So the question here is determine slope of a tangent at x equals to 1 to the curve f of x equals to 6 over x plus 3. Now going back with our definition of slope we need to find change in y over change in x, correct? So as you know, slope is equals to change in y over change in x. Now if this change in x is very small, right? So we say limit of delta x is approaching 0, then this slope becomes slope of tangent, correct? Now, for a function, we can take a point, now in this case, the point is at 1, so we can take a point at 1 and at 1 plus h, where h is very close to 1. So change in y will be the y values, right, at 1 and the y value, the function value, at 1 plus h. And the difference between the two will be f of 1 plus h minus f of 1, correct? Divided by difference in x values. Now, difference in x values would be, these are the x values of the coordinate, correct? 1 plus h minus 1. So, so what we are considering here are two set of points. One is at x equals to one and the other one is slightly away. Let's say this is P, the other one Q is slightly away, is at 1 plus H. So the line joining them will give us slope of the secant. But if this H is very very close to 1, in that case slope of the ten the slope of the secant will approach the slope of the tangent. So we write like this, limit h approaches 0. Now when we say this h is very very small, then 1 and this is like 1.00001, right? So they are very very close. In that case, the slope of the secant will be same or will approach the slope of the tangent. So always we say, that we are trying to find approximate slope of a tangent because we are never very very close, correct? Let me put a dot here for understanding. So, so imagine, whenever the question is slope of a tangent at a point, take it as approximate value, right? Or we can say well, very close enough. So it's always a dot. And many times in good questions, you will find estimate slope of a tangent rather than find or determine. So estimate probably is the best word to use here whenever we're talking about slope of tangent, right? At any given point, correct? Now, so that becomes our equation. Now let's see what is f of 1 and what is f of 1 plus h. Now, let me write all this in a different ink. Now, f of 1, so let me write here. f of 1 will be value of this function at 1. So it is 6 over 4, oh sorry, 1 plus 3. Let me write 1 plus 3 and then I'll write 6 over 4, right, which is 3 over 2. So that is f of 1. Now what is f of 1 plus h. f of 1 plus h will be, we have replaced this x with 1 plus h, right? So let me write here. f of 1 plus h will be 6 over, now if I replace this with 1 plus h, then what do I get? 1 plus h plus 3, correct? So I get here 6 over 4 plus h, correct? So that is the value of f of 1 plus h. 
Now to find the slope, what we will do is, we replace these values with these values and then find the slope. So we get slope at x equals to 1. So let me write like this now, slope m at x equals to 1. So that keeps reminding us what are we trying to find, right? And as we say, it's a limiting value. So I'll write limit h approaches 0. And then the values f1 plus h is 6 over 4 plus h minus 3 over 2. The simplified value we are taking, we could have written 6 over 4 also. Now, this is better. Divided by 1 plus h minus 1 is h. So, let me write this h. Correct. So, that is how we can get the answer. Now, to get this answer, we need to simplify it. So, let's do that simplification. So, limit h approaches 0 and we'll take a common denominator. Correct. So, see here. So, it becomes 2 times 4 plus h as a common denominator. So, 2 gets multiplied by 6, giving us 12, minus 3 gets multiplied by 4 plus h. So, let me first write 3 times 4 plus h. And then we have here over h. So, that is what simplifies to. Now, let's simplify it further. So, we get limit h approaches 0. And let's expand this. So, if we expand this, so I'll add one more step. We'll go here. Okay, so let me just expand this and write 12 minus 4 times 3 is 12 minus 3h divided by, so we'll take this in denominator. So we get 2 times h times 4 plus h, correct? Now let me solve it further on this side of the page. So we get we are trying to find slope of tangent at x equals to 1, correct? Now, so we get this. Up to this place, we just limit h approaches 0. 12 minus 12 is 0. And we get minus 3h. So we get minus 3h divided by 2h times 4 plus h, correct? And now, h and h goes, we get h divided by h is 1, so we are left with minus 3 in the numerator. Now, we are saying that h is very, very close to the point 1, correct? So, let it be, so as h becomes closer and closer, slope of the secant approaches slope of the tangent, right? So, to estimate the slope of the tangent, let's put h equals to 0 and see what do we get. Then we get minus 3 over 2 times 4 plus 0, correct? And that is minus 3 over 8. Therefore, slope of the tangent at x equals to 1 for our given function f of x equals to 6 over x plus 3 is minus 3 over 8. So that is our answer. So we say slope of the tangent. At x equals to 1 is minus 3 over 8. Correct. So that is what we get for this particular question. I hope you understand the method and the approach adopted. Now here is additional problem for you. What you can do is, you see we get negative. Now the question here is, this was at x equals to 1. Try to do this question for different values of x. Let us say x equals to 5, x equals to minus 2, minus 7, like that. And then see is the slope always negative? And then I'll appreciate if you could explain, can this function 
ever get positive slope? Answer that question. Okay? Thanks and all the best.